Serving overseer of the Citadel Global Community Church, Tunde Bakari, has asked the government not to intimidate NSAS protesters, especially the leaders whose accounts were frozen by the Central Bank of Nigeria. The clergyman in a sermon in his church titled States of Nigerian Youth says such move at this time can be counterproductive. Some of the actions recently taken by the government on the heels of the NSAS protests may need to be reversed sooner rather than later in our collective best interest so that they do not trigger further protests. While I admit that under our extant laws, banks may freeze an account upon an ex parte order granted to a law enforcement agency by a court of competent jurisdiction for the purpose of investigation these provisions of our law should not be used to intimidate Nigerian youths simply because they engage in and promote protests against the inactions of government. Bakari says what is needed now is mutual trust and not conflicting signals from the government. To extend the olive branch to the youth in one breath, as the chief of staff, and top ministers in the government are now sent to consult with the Obers, the OBs, and the MS across the nation to extend the olive branch to the youth in one breath and to deprive the youth of the right to freedom of movement and property as enshrined in our constitution in another breath. We send confusing signals to them and cast doubts in their minds regarding the sincerity of the government. The immediate reversal of this action, therefore, will come raw nerves and fast track peace in our land.